Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. Today we're doing a worksheet called Sum of Two Dice Probabilities. This is from mathdrills.com. There will be a link in the description below if you want to check it out. Tons of resources on that website. I highly recommend. Anyway, the problem at hand is finding the probability when we roll two dice. Super relevant, especially if you're a big fan of board games, Settlers of Catan, Monopoly, Risk, whatever it is. Two dice probabilities, how do you do it? And we also need to understand what is this talking about this p and all these numbers and inequalities etc okay essentially anytime you see that capital p it's talking about the probability or likelihood of an event happening and the event that it is uh asking about or in question is the one that is in the parentheses so this is just saying what is the probability that something bigger than a two rolls, okay? So if we're looking here at our chart, we can see this is one through six. This is one through six. These are two dice, and these are all the possible combinations. You'll notice that in white, you're not gonna see the number one because that's impossible to roll a one when you have two dice, and the minimum value on the each dice is a number one. So the minimum value, of course, is two snake eyes, as you might hear it said. And the biggest is 12. And then both of those only happen one time. There's only one way to roll those two numbers, okay? Now, you'll see the most popular number is seven, and that's why you see that the most uh, number of times. It's the highest likelihood of rolling a seven because there's the most combinations to get a seven. Six is the next popular along with eight. Six and eight are tied. And then we have five, and nine as also popular choices and then it's a little bit more sparing after that but the my point that i'm getting at is we need to find bigger than two so if we're looking at this chart here we're looking for all the numbers bigger than two so that's all of these and leaving this one out so how do we do that well if we look at this chart we want to know the total number of possible outcomes okay so the total outcomes but we only want the desired outcomes, okay? And the desired outcome is the one that's in parentheses. So in this case, that's a terrible line. In this case, the desired outcome is in parentheses, something bigger than two. Well, bigger than two is everything this way, this way, this way, okay? Basically the whole chart. So how many values, how many desired outcomes are there total? Well, we can count them. The total number of outcomes, and I don't like that for a highlighter, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we can count all of these. The total number of desired outcomes is 35. So for this, my desired outcome, let me go ahead and move this over. And I'm gonna just gonna say this is equal to shrink wrap it. That's probability. Okay, so probability is equal to desired outcomes divided by total outcomes. So my total outcomes for this one is 35. And my total outcomes, again, I was everything except the two. So that just adds one more, that is 36. And all of these are gonna be out of 36, okay? There's 36 possible combinations of dice that you can have. The one with the two, the one with the five, the one with the six, the three with the four, okay, you get the point. There's 36 possible combinations, so all of these are gonna be out of 36, okay? So this one is 35 out of 36. So how do we find the probability? We just do division now. So we do 35 divided by 36. You can even do this on a calculator. And I get 0 0.972, and that's actually repeating. I'm gonna round. And I like uh, doing it in terms of percentage. You don't have to, like technically that's good enough, okay? But percentage-wise, 97.2%. Okay, so if you're playing a game or you're doing a chance game or you're at the county fair or whatever and you want to know the probability of rolling a two, sorry, a three or bigger on that dice, you have a 97% chance of that happening. Now, of course, there's always a chance you do roll that two, but it's a ni it's not very likely. It's, it's less than 3%, okay? Now, let's go for two or greater, okay? This is greater than or equal to two. Well, I hope you know that it's 36 out of 36, okay? There's 36 options that are two or bigger, so that would be 1.0, 100%. You have a 100% chance of rolling a two or bigger, okay? So that's all you're doing with these, is you're looking for these particular outcomes. For this one, for example, P10, we're gonna look at the total number of tens that we have on here. Okay, so let me do some erasing real fast. So the total number of tens, one, two, three. We just have three tens. Three out of 
36. So I'm gonna go to my calculator, three divided by 36, and I get 0 0.083, and that's actually repeating. If you wanna do it as a percentage, 8.3%, okay? And at, to get it into a percentage, as a reminder, you just multiply by 100 or move the decimal place over two times, 8.3%. And that's what you're doing with all these. The important thing to know is if you're including the number, there's going to be this sign, the less than or greater than, or sorry, greater than or equal to or less than or equal to sign. And if it doesn't, it's just going to be uh, without the line. So this is an example that you do not include that five. So you're just looking at all the values bigger than five, okay? Seven's a big number here because it's most popular. So let's go ahead and do P is less than or equal to seven. How many sevens? Are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six sevens. Okay, and I'm talking about less than, so I also need to talk about all these ones. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm counting it as an aggregate, so I need to just add it to the six. So that's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. That's how I would do it. You can also count the blank spaces and then subtract it from 36. You could count these guys since they're bigger than seven, just subtract from 36. But um, I just went ahead and did it the other way, okay? So again, that was six plus five is 11, plus four is 15, 18, 20, 21, okay? So I have 21 out of 36 that are less than or equal to seven, 21 divided by 36, and that gives me 0 0.583 or about 58.3 por <laughs> percent. Okay, and as you can see, it looks like more than half of the numbers, and it is. Okay, and that's it. That's all there is to it. So if you want to, uh, you know, help on any of these other ones, this one's going to be 100%. Spoiler alert. Okay, we're talking about less than or equal to 12. Well, that's all of them. So that's 100%. But all these are going to be pretty, you know, pretty similar. This uh, greater than or equal to 11, that's actually going to be a pretty small number. Greater than or equal to 11, that's just going to be three numbers right here, and we already calculated that. Actually, we did this, three out of 36, it's gonna be the same percentage. So this is gonna be 8.3%. So just make sure you're working smarter, not harder on this, but it's not much to it, and it should help you understand what type of dice rolls you're looking for in these games, especially Settlers of Catan. Make sure to check that out. And make sure to check out more videos on this channel right here on West Explains Best.